Now that we have learned how to fetch, which is read operation, let's go ahead and execute create operation, which is to add a resource on the server. So let's go ahead and add a book in Postman. For that, open Postman, go ahead and add a new request. Name it add book. Remember, we learned about methods earlier, right? So let's select the method as post because we are adding a book on the server. The URL is going to be same base URL forward slash box. Now, do we need to provide a body? Absolutely. Why? Because we are adding a resource on the server. So we need to provide the book details like title, you know, date and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and click on body, click on draw and in the drop down, select JSON. Why JSON? Because we are working with the REST API and our API accepts JSON as the body. Now, where do we get this JSON? No need to worry. Go to Academy and scroll down a little bit and you will find the sample JSON available right there. Copy it, come back to Postman and paste it. Remember to update the value to your favorite book. My favorite book is the Rich Dad Poor Dad, so I'm going to update the values accordingly. The author is going to be Robert and genre is finance and the year is 1997. Now feel free to update this if you don't wish to update you know it's also fine you can send that request as it is. Let's save this and let's hit send. Now if you hit send you will see the status code 401. Whose error is it? Our error right 400 status code is our error user error. So we need to fix it. Let's read the message. The message says invalid or missing credentials, which means we need to authenticate and authorize ourselves before we go ahead and add a book on the server. Why do we need authentication? Yes, security reasons, obviously. We cannot allow everyone to add book onto our server. So we need to provide a mechanism where we can secure our API. So let's go ahead and add authorization in the very next lesson.